Hello, cinematic tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger with me, Blankula. I decided only to walk to the Forlorn Temple and we'll pop down to the catacombs together. But, just because we haven't seen this place in the future yet. There you go. Um, you can see two of the Phobicans. There are two more spots for them, I think. And even though we can float, we still can't make it to the Forlorn Temple. But, maybe next time. Now, I wonder if I want to be future mode or past mode. I don't actually know here. Actually, I, I think it's possible if you're in future mode, you might not be able to get past the entrance here. I could be wrong. But there's no, uh, there's no power moves or anything I missed, so... At worst, I'm just missing kind of a sidetrack to get, uh, some crystals or something. Time shards. So fast. No! <laughs> Keeping me on my toes. Ooh, I thought I could make it. So we got that secret already. This is the connection, yeah. So if I take the other route from the uh, the Crimson Forest, we would have come to the, from the left here. But we already did that once, so it's all good. So we're we're here specifically to um, get to the dark area. We got a candle from the village elder, thanks to our little trip to um, to uh, you know grow some plants and tea leaves. Pretty sure I could have made that jump, but messed it up. Whoa! Sneaky ninja. Alright, so we're going, yeah, down, right, and then further down. Okay. And then we'll be in a totally new area. Go, no problem. And this is it's this room, but we have to be in the pat in the future. Which conveniently, of course, the future is now. Are you scared of the dark? You shouldn't be if you have a cat. Alright. Now these areas always are not my favorite. <laughs> For the obvious reason that you make a lot of blind jumps. Even though I've done this once before, it's so blind. You can kind of follow the time shards, but you never know when you're going to fall to your death. <laughs> I'm not hitting a lot of these uh, lights very well. Oh, right, this room. I'll save you some time. There's a thing I have to do first. Uh, let's start. This is a this is a race. And okay. Lights that have no light but drop souls. Yeah, interesting, hey. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh, I made it, I think. Hey, new area. 
Ah, <sighs> alright, let's do this. It's got some cool new music. And a uh, river of death. But, in the future, it's a paradise. So cool. Also, now we've got a shortcut here. We don't have to walk back. Oh, look! Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I'm not very good at these kind of tricks. Yeah, alright. Oh yeah, by the way, there's little plant shooters now. Alright, this is, this is gonna be tricky. Good start. Great start. Alright, we got this. We got this. close. <laughs> uh, I was more than halfway through the trick. Oh, I didn't hit a checkpoint? Ah. There's gotta be a checkpoint close to that. Oh, I <laughs> wasn't sure I'd land on the, uh, the little thing there. You know, you could probably make your way entirely across this river and never even... Uh... I was pressing jump! I wonder if my jump button's dying. I just bought this controller. Why can we never get good controllers anymore that last more than like a month? Maybe it's just me, I'm getting tired. Oh, nice. that was bad. But yeah, you don't even need to use the little uh, floating platform. Well, I think I'm gonna find it. I'd like to find a checkpoint first. Yeah, there we go. Oh, let's go talk to this guy while we're here anyway. New area, right? It'll be easier to do the puzzle room from somewhere we can save. Uh, oh, I have lots of money, uh, but I think I want the power upgrade more than the defense upgrade. Where am I? Oh, uh, I believe you have found the sacred grove known as Riviere Turquoise. It looks uh, like a lot has taken place. You bet! With your perspective as a time traveler, you should be able to see it in both states. This area used to be ruled by demons and completely charred. Until one day a powerful messenger drove them out and brought in the butterfly matriarch so that the grove could heal and become lush again. Work like a charm! Wait. So if I'm seeing the charred grave in my present, no, and the restored version is in the future, don't go there. Doesn't that mean there's been a messenger in between my two time periods? Hooray, the time paradox, or plot hole. You decide. Thanks for ruining the show. Can't you just enjoy the contrast? <laughs> yeah, someone mentioned plot holes earlier with the uh, thistle. Oh, Alright, so the main reason is now I've got a save point closer to this where I inevitably die 20 times. If I was good, we wouldn't be here. Alright, that's it. No problem. <laughs> Not really that hard, just very, very finicky. 
still not as bad as those Shine Spark puzzles in uh, Metroid Zero Mission. And those were in a... Uh... Oh! There's, uh, there's nowhere to land because the things hadn't fallen down yet. <laughs> anyway, we don't need to go there anymore. Let's go all this way. Alright. So! Cool little uh, Donkey Kong barrels. Pretty neato. I suppose I'll need to um, probably open that up before I shoot. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good idea. Uh, let's... Yeah. Perfect. Alright, back to evil version. This is a really cool area. I definitely like the contrast. And it's the present version that's all bad. Even though this is supposed to be like the bad timeline or something when things go bad. Look, I didn't die. I'll take a hit for that. There you go. Oh! <laughs> All these guys again. That's cool. That's... Look at this stuff, man. In the, in the present, there's spiky deaths, and then you see little portals to the future. And it's all nice and friendly. Still no 2,000 shards, though. I assume... Really? There's nothing here? There's an... Ah! Oh! Uh... I know. I only know because I've done this before. <laughs> I remember that bit. Mistake. It's fine. We recovered. It's one of those rooms, though. I'm not sure how you were supposed to guess that you can um, just fall down and not die. There's not a lot of tip-offs other than just accidentally falling down and not dying. But but you can see, like the bottom of the screen, black fuzz versus no black fuzz. The game does tell you, it's just really hard to, like, notice it. Oh! Oh, I see. <laughs> There's no water here to float. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was good. Okay, so... Yeah, that's... Yeah, I... Okay, okay. Man, like I have to hop off one of these, and after that I should be able to float the rest of the way, but... Good morning, Thorinum. Welcome to... I don't know what kind of puzzle these are, but... Landing on falling logs so that you can hop further. Seems a little bit nuts. I guess it's very Mario 2. Really generally just requires one, but still. Some sketchy stuff there. Am I supposed to be going up here? Maybe. Is this, do I actually gain height doing this? Slowly. <laughs> I never really checked if there's anything on the bottom, but I'm assuming probably nothing. Okay. 
the target number is still 2,000 for the next big upgrade. Uh, that's probably how you're supposed to do that. That's fine. Man, this area is so nice looking. Fine. Remember that trick I was just practicing earlier to jump out of a, a narrow thing like that, a narrow room? Good to know how to do it, right? So seriously? All right, this is, this is fine. That's not that bad. cool. Such a creative game, right? No spike suit like Castlevania. Just little fireflies that let you uh, walk past the spikes as if they're not even there. All right. I just keep checking this because I assume there's going to be a chat at some point, but he doesn't want to tell me any more stories. Oh, right, so you can change your direction on these things, yeah. Without totally knowing all the little puzzles, they're pretty obvious, though. There's generally only a couple directions they can face, so... Well, there's generally two directions they can face, so... The complications of the puzzles are relatively... Uh, there's a face palm. Relatively simple, is what I was trying to say. Can't account for just falling off a cliff, though. My excuse is it's getting late. <laughs> I guess I'm. We might not be able to finish the game tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We're, we're not too far away from it, but if I want to 100% it to get all the power seals, it's going to take probably too long. If I'm already starting to get sloppy here. Alright, that should be correct bouncing, I believe. I'm assuming we need to do this. Yeah, <laughs> not sure you can make it across that without solving that little puzzle. All right, so we at least have to break open this barricade. He, uh, we're gonna get a little bit better with water at some point. There is, there is like one more upgrade. You see in the ability section, we're still missing one upgrade. See if it's something water related. Well, we can swim too, technically. Now, do I want to go right or do I want to go up? Huh. I bet you there's a power sphere to the right. Let's go do that. I got a feeling. Or, well, this is fine, too. Can't complain about getting money. Okay. Timing. Alright, so now we got to change the directions. Hopefully that works, because I don't think I can climb too much higher.
These little puzzles are pretty fun, though. I don't mind this kind of stuff. It's not that complicated. You get through them pretty quick. Trans-dimensional... Donkey Kong Blast, I guess. Ah! Was this where I was supposed to go? I don't even know. I thought that was a secret! <laughs> Alright. Not a secret. Just the way to go. I thought I was being all clever. Those guys are kind of annoying. Just just the little bullets they fire off. Not, not a huge fan. I think this is pretty cool level design, though. A little bit more complicated than some of the earlier stuff. Oh. Alright! Next... next tree, I guess. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Maybe over here? That does not seem correct. Oh, I know! <laughs> I did it wrong. I was supposed to turn that flower first. I don't know. That was that was an inky little fail for sure. Yeah, so you have to go back down, turn that, and then go up. Actually, I wonder if I can go up first. Hold on. There's a suspicious tile up here. Actually, yeah. I bet you we can. Or not. Well, then how the heck would I ever get to that right side? I definitely missed something in the middle there. Huh. Whatever. Who needs to get 100%, right? This is probably the boss. Any idea what I will find next? Not really, but I fear this place's past may still be affecting its future. The curse is stronger than it looks here. If you see an opportunity to catch a firefly, you should take it. So there was a hint to find the place with the strong curse, right? That was one of our, uh, Curse is the Strongest. Magic seashell if you don't f fear drowning. Theoretically, this is where you get a magic seashell? I don't know. Looks more like a giant moth. Welcome, messenger, to the sacred grove! Whoa, uh, who are you? I am the butterfly matriarch, the embodiment of beauty. Come closer, I have a gift for you. Be careful, the matriarch is not what she seems. Hello there, friendly firefly. Oh, look! It's not a butterfly at all, it's a creepy bat. Straight out of Castlevania. See, she's plagued by an ugly monster. You must free her of this evil. Away with you, puny thing. Now, messenger, come closer. And die! Oh, epileptic warning, I suppose. Alright, gigantic bat. It's got like a confusion ray that hopefully I'll never get hit by. And those things are kind of annoying. Now, you can save a ton of time. The, um, the firefly will show you the platforms, but if you've already done the fight once, you might remember where the platforms are. Although I'm not 100% sure. I think there's one on the right here or something. The first screen was just really easy, but... I'll show you properly this time around. Oh, I think you can just stand still for those, actually, yeah. Well, not quite, but... Oof. 
you can you can get hit by those. Oh, I do need to do that. There. What? No! <laughs> My <laughs> the confusion thing reverses your controls, which is fine. <laughs> but then they unreverse, and I. <laughs> Let's just not get hit by the confusion ray. Clearly. All right. All right. Good start. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I promise you I'll show you how those things appear next time. Because <laughs> I only remember the platform for the first phase. But I think it's on the right. I could probably just jump to the right and land on one, but... Oh, come on. Yeah. The See, that's the thing. You can basically stand still. And it can't kill you. You just have to hop over the bats. And then this thing doesn't actually do damage. Although I do need to go hit the... Uh... There we go. So, now it's butterfly or moth form. There's the platform. See? I could have just jumped if I remembered them. But, anyway, cool. Confusion element, yeah. Alright, now there's nowhere to stand. So we're gonna use my trick one more time. Get confused. Just tank it. And then just hop over the bats. And you don't even take any damage. Seems like the easiest way to do this fight. I figured, you know... 99% more likely to fall in the water than dodge any of these attacks. Alright, there's my... Ah! Oh, mm. Alright, yeah, that'll help. Thank you, shurikens. Alright, there we go. You can see... There we go. Beautiful! I even used the shuriken. <laughs> Incredible to be free at last. How long has it been? Too long. I made a mistake. I thought beauty would fix it all. Thank you, messenger, for ridding me of this rotten core. It's a lesson on appearances, how they can be deceiving, and why they should never judge based on them. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Do butterflies even have mouths? Anyway, you've been a great help. Let one of my fireflies accompany you on your journey. I'm certain you will find her valuable when things get dire. You got the magic firefly. Strong enough to lift a minor curse. She can work against the forces of evil. Now, you remind me of the monk who saved me once. I wonder what became of her. Anyway, farewell, messenger. Maybe we should go check on the monk. Because she has a... Is it considered a minor curse? Maybe she has a minor curse that we could cure. All right. Boss defeated. Now, I want to try to get... Like, I don't have to come all the way back later, because this, this the teleporter is way back there, the portal. So, I think I missed one uh, shard thingamajigger, power seal over there. And I definitely would like to get it now, while we're nearby. If I can figure it out. So it's... It's kind of up. Oh, you know, I see it now, now that I'm looking to the left. Trees generally don't have rocks in the middle of them. This will probably be it, right? They're gonna make me go... Oh boy. Well, there it is. I think I have to go back down. Yeah. Kind of a complicated little puzzle here. More than, more than normal. 
And, uh... I think I have to hit this one as well. Hopefully that's all and now it works. Oh. <laughs> Conf yeah, confusion in RPGs where you can use your rare consumable items while confused is really rude. Oh. better if you just randomly attack somebody or cast a spell, I think. It's bad enough when you kill one of your own friends, but... Alright, we got the thing. I'm actually not sure if falling down here is very safe, to be honest. <laughs> but it's faster. Speed runs trapped. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're just going to use the teleporter here, rather than redo the entire level backwards. So, we got a firefly. Did we get a note? I think we have note number four. There you go. Note number four. And we can see what the prophet has to say. As fate would beautifully have it, blah blah blah. We've, we've read this before. So, what should I do next? Where the wind chills the bone. Oh, we could go do that. I know where that is. That's easy. I think we have two things to do. One thing... Uh, we actually didn't find this magic seashell yet. But, um... What am I trying to... Why can I never... It's back. The back button from the map takes you here. It's so weird. Anyway, um... We probably want to go back to the end of Quilshire Marsh to find the monk in the past. Because the Firefly, I assume, can break her curse. And we had the tip for the Glacial Peak. So we're going to go do the Glacial Peak. Because we haven't actually used this teleporter yet. And it's convenient. While we're here. exactly what I meant to do. Ah, yep, yeah, totally. Alright, and it takes us right to the top. Right to what we're looking for. Hey, you're Ruxton Staff! Wow, you took your sweet time, didn't you? 500 years! Do you have any idea how cold it is up here? Well, I'll leave you here. The messenger will need you in the future, he says. 15 minutes in, I was already cold and bored. Had I known it would take you centuries to show up, I... I... Actually, I'm kind of helpless. How are you supposed to help me? I'm not interested in wielding a necromatic weapon. Well, I don't know. Ruxton got obsessed with the Blue Robe's history. Said something about how a tower you used to get to the clouds wouldn't be here anymore. So my epic contribution after waiting for centuries in the cold is, apparently, simply to beam you up and down as you please. To the cloud ruins? Yeah, that's sure to come in handy. Can we go? Do you really think I'd be sitting here if I could teleport? Only you can activate my magic. For that, you need Ruxton's amulet, which I conveniently have. Yeah, I'm sensing his power. Do you want to teleport? You bet. I'd love to get out of this cold. I mean, I love the cloud rooms. So cool. Hey, it worked! I'll be here if you need to go back. Whoa, the view's insane! Why couldn't Ruxton leave me here instead? Yeah, this is a pretty sweet spot. Alright. Cloud Ruins, except now with time travel powers. In the next episode!